AFTV Turkish, why are they having a go at you now for about Ozil? I don't know. Right. Right. <laughs> he passed it into the keeper's chest. He managed to get in the back of the net. And it, it, this is what it's caused. Nah, it's nah, nah. We want to see goals from you. You got a goal today. You had a good game, actually. Um, and the whole team in the second half in particular played well. 100%. I think, I think credit to every player out there, especially in the second half. Do you know what I mean? I looked at this two-week break. I think it came at the right time. And I was hopeful today. I predicted 3-4-1. Do you know what I mean? But when we saw that first half, I thought, ah, oh. it looked like we went backwards. Arteta must have grilled them in that, in that team talk at half time. We came out another team. We came out how I expected us to start that game. And how long have I been banging on about Nicolas Pepe being our most all-round attacking player, Rob? In our, in our last six wins, yeah, Pepe's played and started every single one. And in five of those six wins, he's got a goal or assist. It makes you baffled. It baffles you even more. How comes he didn't used to start under Emery, innit? Yeah. Sometimes not even in the squad. He, you know, it's baffling, but he is starting to become a very important player in the team. Yeah, I think so. Under Emery and under Youngberg and then under Arteta, he has been in and out the side. But now mm. you can see, as much as Aubameyang's name goes on the team sheet without question, Pepe's name needs to go on that team sheet without question. Mm -hmm. The other mm. two sides, cool, they can battle it out. Ozil, Reese Nelson, whoever mm. else, Martinelli, battle it out. Because even Martinelli's pushing for that too. But today, all round, I think Ceballos done very well in the middle. Obviously, looking at the team sheet at the start, we was all like, oh, why is Torreira not playing? Because he's mm. been key. But I think in terms of opening it up a bit, being a bit more expansive in transition, we have to change something in that combination. Mm. Um, as much as we were poor in the first half, I think defensively, look what Arteta has done. Structurally, we dealt well with everything Newcastle had to offer. So as poor as we was in the mm. first half, we've been a lot poorer in other halves. Is it the structure um, why we're defending so much better? Because it's a clean sheet. I mean, we're all forgetting that because we yeah, banged yeah. in four goals. That's another clean sheet. Um, and it just seems like, I mean, the much derided, you know, Mustafi, all of a sudden is looking very good in that back four. You know what I mean? He's, he's controlling the game and he's, he's, you know, there was one time in the game when he just put the ball out but it was a sensible thing to do at that time and just defend him properly at the moment. Yeah, no, obviously, look, a lot of players have improved slightly. A lot of players have improved massively under Arteta. Obviously, mm. some of them you can look at Ozil, Xhaka, Mustafi. Some names you can pick up, but there's also massive changes that need to come. And I think three of those names is changes we have to look into too. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Yes, we have improved. Yes, Arteta has brought back a feel-good factor and we are playing a bit better football mm. so far. But we need to understand it's, it's a long work, um, long way to go. And look at today, man of the match, Saka. It's a tale of two stories today because look how well he played for a teenage winger that's covering as a left-back, keeping Kolasinac, who was in the German team of the year as left-back, out of the team. But on the other hand, you look at it as how have we let it get down to 18 months? I thought that was all done when Wenger and Gazidis left this, left this, left this Arsenal. I'm sure, I'm sure though, you know what, I think people are panicking unnecessarily about that. I'm sure they'll get that done. He's a, he's a young kid. He's burst through. I mean, remember that. He's just come through into the squad. Obviously, now they're looking at it. Right, you're a first teamer now. We need to look at giving you another contract, a different type of contract. But I th obviously, I, 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 th I think the... Some of the newspapers have kind of jumped on this a bit. It's standard, I think, of a kid of that age who's burst through into the first team that now you'll sit down and renegotiate a new deal with him. I think we've left it a bit too late. I know what you mean. You are right. He just burst into the scene this year. But where is, this, where is our staff that pick out these players before they burst into the yeah, but first there's team? There's no kid, though, that's going to be on a fight unless you, you brought him in. There's no real academy kid that's going to come through and be on a like a five or six year contract are they they're always going to be on a really, two right. year three year you offer contracts on a rolling basis don't let it get under two years that's what raul told us we're not going to let any contracts get under two years and yes you look at abba with that and saka did burst on the scene this year but these are things that need to be fixed for arsenal to really move forward yeah. it's all good winning four nil today we needed that we needed a big win it's been so long but these little things behind the scenes need to get fixed for us to really kick on at arsenal